World and Olympic champion shot putter Valerie Villi set a new meet record of 20 metres 0.05 to take out the women's shot put title. Glenn Huntley's Margaret Satterpie placed third with a 15.19 metre throw. While Kim Mulhall posted the elusive World Junior Qualifier of 14 metres 93 representing her Ringwood club. Yeah, it's a very tough event, I'll tell you that. And with the guys we've got here in Australia, it makes it even tougher. You know, it's definitely got to be one of the toughest events in Australia competition-wise and also event-wise, you know, it's not an easy event to run. So, definitely uh, it hurts every time you go out and run on the track and you pay for it after, but you reap the rewards, you know, so it's not so bad. Obviously, I want to be running pretty good at nationals and I know I have to, because if I'm not at my best, I know I'm going to have a very tough time trying to win it. So, and that is my goal, to try and win nationals. So I'll make sure I'm in top form for it. And I guess we'll then go back to the train track and hit out some more hard work. I guess a bit more of the longer stuff, trying to build up a little bit more fitness because Hong Kong Games is going to have to run rounds. And that's going to be the tough one because body hasn't really been through it yet. So we'll uh, get back and try, and try and emulate that sort of stuff in training and then really peak for Hong Kong Games. This is my second race, so I'm still yet to put it together. I decided to go out a little bit harder today. And, uh, I think it was a little bit costly in the back end of the race, but I'll slowly get there. Another six weeks to go to nationals. Yeah, I mean, my training's definitely working really well. I'm really strong. Probably don't have that um, top end speed at the moment, which will slowly come, and it's just a matter of putting the races together. I've got another four by, four by four tonight, so I'll have another crack at it again. For a big final lap here. Coming up to the bell, 24, 25, we had a goat go through it under the B stand and a good victory to Mary Cullen, great run of time, so another B qualifier there for The warm weather, how's it treating you? Um, it's not bad, like, you know, I've been training kind of early in the morning and late in the evening to sort of avoid the, the hot, hot temperatures, but um, I'm still not really used to running in. I don't know what is it right now, 25, 26 maybe, so it's a little different, but Bars the European champs were in Barcelona this uh, summer, so I guess I have to get used to it. So you're out here to break up the training block and a little bit, something a little bit different? Yeah, exactly. Like I was here last year for six weeks with Sarah Jameson, so um, it worked out great last year, so I figured I'd come back again this year and uh, stay for a little bit longer. I'm here for eight weeks this time, so it's good. So far, so good. I'm happy I got under the B. I was hoping to do a bit faster tonight, but um, I, I did the best I could. So I haven't done too many fast races, so I think it, it went all right. Um, we're really still focusing on World Cross because it's the most important thing. But um, we're also trying to qualify along the way if we can. And I think for me the 10K is going to be easier anyway. So I'm hoping to go run a race over in Japan to qualify in the 10. So I'm not as worried about the 5, but it would have been nice to, to have got that one as well. But. Backing up her win at the Zatapec 10, Danny Samuels returned to Olympic Park to take out the women's discus with a Commonwealth Games A qualifying throw of 62.97 metres. Yeah, that's one of my goals for this year is to get consistent at 63, 64 metres and having a PB a couple of days ago actually really surprised me but uh, it's great to get one this time of year and I'm still trying to build on that and become consistent at 63, 64 and I was this far off 63 tonight so I'm pretty happy. Are you excited about the prospect of uh, regular competition against the best in the world? I am. It's uh, Like I've said a few times, it's pretty much the world championship final every couple of weeks so that's going to be great a great test for me and a great challenge to uh, and it will push me to be consistent and, and to hopefully be at my best by the time the Commonwealth game comes around so I can hopefully win a gold medal. Your boy the other Kenyan settling into second place the pace is on and as Bill Kiprop has I was sort of surprised when I sort of got past Willis and I was running to the line and I didn't want to look behind. I was sort of waiting for Kip Rop to really come up on me and he didn't and I kind of just kept going and that was good. You had the win here, you've got the home crowd, you've got your boys. Uh, yeah. First hit out of the season, it's, it's all sort of fallen into place very early yeah, yeah. but there's still a lot of work to, to do going yeah. forward. Yeah, you know, I've got guys like Gregson and, you know, Mitch. I don't know what happened to him today but those boys ran really well in uh, Sydney last week and they're, you know, biting on my heels and I think maybe tonight the slow pace kind of suited me because 
you know, I haven't been able to get as much training as I'd like done, and I just managed to find a few gears at the end, which was good. But it was really weird. We got to the battle now because I was expecting a frantic sprint, but everyone just looked around and no one wanted to do anything. And I don't even think we closed that hard. I don't know. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's a tough gig being a 1500 metre runner in Australia at the moment. Uh, yeah. Nationals is obviously it's the all important one. It's not just going to be about posting a time. Yeah, I think it's going to be five or six guys with a with an A and a few more with a B. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty exciting come um, come Perth. I think the 1500 metres is probably the strongest event in Australia at the moment. You know, they, they talk about the, the 400, but we've got some pretty serious depth, and not only in the senior guys, but the the junior guys like Jordan Williams and. Uh, Todd Wakefield, uh, Kane Grimster and uh, Brett Robinson, uh, there's another guy, Joshua Wright or something, so you know I think uh, Gregson sort of set the bar a pretty high level and the, the young guys are challenging that, so. Um, yeah, well Jeff just ran a great race, like he's been moving alright in training but he hasn't really put a race out there, it's great to see him back out there and you know, for myself, it was alright, like when it was slow at the start, I just knew I may as well have a go, you know, I'm not going to run a quick time, so you know, just go for it. So, you know, I tried to, 600 to go, I was on the front of that lead pack and just going through and then, you know, 200 to go, I started getting a bit tired and the last 100 was a bit of a struggle, but I got there, so, you know, it's all just good practice. You know, I didn't run as tactically good as I probably should have tonight because I thrive off a tactical race, you know, that's how I, that's how I win a lot of my races, but, you know, it was just great to get out there and it'll give me you know, a bit of a bit of a warm up to see how the, to get with the other juniors next week in Sydney for the nationals. So I think Kip Kiprot went down the first hundred meters. So you know, I was just lucky. I was on the inside, just stayed clear from it, and then I was just Nick Nick Willis. You know, led most of it. So that's pretty tough for him to hang on. You know, until the last 50 meters. But just so glad Jeff got up. It's gonna be a massive confidence boost for him. And, you know, he really deserves it. 2007 world champion Finn thrower Tero Pitkamaki was the best of the men, with a competition leading throw of 83.32 metres. Well, Sheehan comes up on the inside, Johnson having a very good run on the outside. Back to the Queenslander. Lowell trying to hang on, but Davies through the line, takes the wow from Johnston and Martin. Um, I started well, got out there and got halfway down the straight and just started to tighten up. That's, I guess that's where my fitness is at, not really concentrating on the 200. So I'm not too fast that. Now some her, um, flat sprinters use the hurdles to bolster up their strength. Are you using a bit of the longer sprints to, to find a bit more fitness for the, for the sprint hurdles? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've always run 200s and 100s a lot. You obviously need a lot of speed for the hurdles. And a 110 hurdles race is more like a 150. So it's good to get 150 metres into the race before I die. So the best have come and the locals have conquered. That was the Melbourne Track Classic for 2010. This is Tom Nixon for Atsvic TV saying good night.